Good evening. The Albuquerque man was found murdered. His body left in a creek in Memphis, Tennessee. There's been no arrest in this case, but his family is trying to change that by getting more attention in the case here in Albuquerque. News 13's Marissa Lucero explains why. APD says this is a rare move for New Mexico Crime Stoppers to highlight a crime that didn't even happen here, but they're hoping it'll generate more leads across state lines. In the last 40 plus years, Crime Stoppers, the program that allows people to provide anonymous information about crimes in their cities, has gone international. This is the unique thing about Crime Stoppers here in Albuquerque. Crime Stoppers did originate in Albuquerque in the 70s. In an unusual move, Crime Stoppers in Memphis, Tennessee, has asked Albuquerque Crime Stoppers to help them generate new tips in an unsolved case involving an Albuquerque man who was found dead in a creek there last February. It had been on my heart and my mind like, gosh, if we could just get this to happen, that would be excellent and um, powerful. We absolutely want to help the family out, so it's a little bit rare that this would happen. We spoke to Dominic Castillo's parents, Deborah and David, just months after police in Memphis discovered the 22-year-old's body. It was ruled a homicide, but there were never any arrests in the case. The family told us then Castillo was on a backpacking trip across the U.S. with his dog, Lily. They had just left Albuquerque, traveled to Oklahoma, then Arkansas, and just before they lost contact with him, they knew he had made it to Memphis. What the family has learned since is their son may have made plans to meet up with other backpackers. He had made connections with people to meet somebody out there or people out there. Deborah says she knows someone knows something about her son's murder. We can't think small. It's going to be everybody. Even though the crime didn't happen here, Deborah says it can only help to have the news spread across the country. But because Dominic was traveling around so much, he may be in that community that's kind of traveling around the country. And if these individuals come back to Albuquerque and we push this Crime Stoppers information out, it might lead to some better leads. Yes, and um, yeah, and I'm not going to stop. None of us are. The family says they do plan to hold a fundraiser in order to raise more money. All of that will go back to the Crime Stoppers reward. Marissa Lucero, KRQE News 13. As for Castillo's dog, Lily, she was rescued, then adopted to a family in a different state. The family has been fighting ever since to get the dog back.